Friday morning, March 20th, 2015, the first day of spring. It's about 8 o'clock in the morning, 32 degrees. We're out in Niagara County. Going to take a walk around here in a malting barley field and do a little bit of evaluation of how it came through the winter. Right up front here at the edge of the field, there's still a lot of green material, a little bit of browning on the leaves along the edges that's okay it should grow back out of it uh, just fine but we need to take a wider look at the entire field that makes a bit of an L up there to the north and then back down to the south and east you notice the field still has a lot of water in it it's just cold enough to keep me up from sinking in, a lot of ice and water underneath. Definitely too soon for field operations out here. It needs to warm up a little and dry out a little before we can get a tractor out here and get some fertilizer on, some early season nitrogen to wake this crop up. up there there's three of them running across the neighbor's field I probably spooked them with my talking leave this farm put in a tile line right along here last fall why you see this divot running along the low spot to drain out this field. Tile drainage is absolutely critical on these heavier soils. field here where we have an obvious difference in either planting condition, most likely planting conditions. The barley is not nearly as vigorous here as it is just a few feet over this way. Likely, an like I said, likely an issue at planting and this soil is just it's a, maybe a bit rockier or just didn't uh, crumble as nicely at planting. snowfall still on the field. There are some parts of western New York that still have a solid six to ten inches on field and so we're definitely a few weeks out from spring at this point. And this uh, area here that hasn't established as well is a bit of a higher knoll. Maybe didn't have as much snow cover over the winter as some of the lower areas of the field which could also be contributing to its uh, to the bit of a gap in addition to all these extra rocks that are up here, probably a gravel knoll.
edge here quick. Notice the difference between this weed in the field edge and the, uh, the barley. This is weed in the allium family. Very common here in the northeast. Smells like onion. And uh, definitely want to keep these out of our out of our fields. And they can be, there's a couple of them right there, but there's not widespread pressure throughout the field. They can be very prob problematic if they establish in our production fields. thing here to notice, you've probably seen this a bit, is you got the tops of these leaves. Um, this barley was uh, in spots maybe a little big going into the winter. You'll typically see these leaf tips frosted off, but there'll be some areas that won't have quite as much growth and they won't have as much dead material. So it's a delicate balance trying to strike that with an early enough planting date to get it established before winter but not so much that uh, that you end up with a lot of uh, dead material over the winter. So here's an area where there's not nearly as much that has been singed off. Granted, we also have some gaps from where the planter hit a little bit. Again, some more rocky ground. But yeah, here. And this is even just down the the same rows a little bit, not quite as much browning on the tips. Surprisingly, the barley looks considerably smaller up here. Didn't, uh, didn't quite come through as well, but looking out at some of the other areas that we'll circle back through on the way back, they seem okay, but this is not uncommon to you know, have barley get a little bit uh, knocked back in areas of the field that are a little tougher to work with. You can also see there was a whole lot of traffic up here. a compacted area. killed. It's like a gull. Alright now, 
we're maybe 50 feet away off that hilltop, a little bit lower area. Probably a little bit sheltered from that tree line right behind me. Look at how much better the barley's doing. Granted, that barley that's underwater there isn't going to do too well. But barley is just one of those crops where we see these differences in microtopography and how well it establishes. Not very well on that hilltop versus re pretty reasonably well here just behind the tree cover on the eastward side of the hill. see the uh, tracks from last fall where the, the tractor made its go-around passes here. Field edges. end of the field for the most part is looking like it came through the winter pretty well. Got a little bit of this, uh, this winter annuals chickweed coming in here. But all in all, not a bad barley field. this exposed little knoll here. Probably didn't have much as much snow cover. And the barley's just not quite as vigorous. It's not dead. See it's still green at the heart of it, but feet away right here. Barley's fine. Again, could be the fact that it was a little knoll, a little bit rougher soil conditions at planting or the snow just wasn't on there as long.
mentioned, we've been out here in a barley field today, and uh, it's good to get the season started, but it's definitely going to be a while yet before we actually get some real field operations.